Experiential matter function describes how entities and events in this world are referred to. Experiential matter function highlights the subject, verb, and object in the clause. For example, in the clause, did Jim take her calculator? Jim is the subject. Take is the verb. Her calculator is the object. However, under the principle of functional grammar, subject and object are referred to participants, and the verb is called process. Yet there are different categories of process. Let's have a look on the same example. Did Jim take her calculator? In this case, Jim is the participant, an actor. Take is a material process, meaning a verb refers to physical actions. Her calculator is another participant, a goal. Experiential matter function will be adopted in the process of movement creation through task-based movement research. With the theme text, experiential matter function is able to distinguish the functional roles of different participant and process. Interpersonal matter function reveals how a speaker negotiates, interacts, and exchanges meaning to listeners. Interpersonal matter function mentions fundamental purposes of communicative exchange. It can be beneficial to how a choreographer negotiates, interacts, and exchanges meaning and message to audience through movements, use of text, and specific dance structures. <laughs> Mental function demonstrates how the speaker orders various groups and phrases in a clause. Inspires and reminds a choreographer on the establishment of transition and structure of a choreographic work. Mm -hmm. 